We need another Soviet Union. No, I'm, no I, I'm not hoping that Putin, uh, well, ultimately attains his goal, which really his goal is he would love to return to the days of the Soviet Union and uh, the, the Cold War. But, but for now, what I would like is to be able to put people in a time machine, especially some millennials, but actually some people my age too, and bring them back to the period where we had a Cold War and we had a Soviet Union, where we got video of people standing in line for bread, where they had to build walls to keep people in the country. There was no freedom of the press. It was awful. See, the reason I want to do that is because there are so many people now who are enamored with the term socialism. Now, my generation says, how can you like socialism? We, we know what socialism becomes. It becomes communism. It becomes totalitarianism. It's party control. It's central government planning. It's all of those things. But see, we live the example that was the Soviet Union. There are many millennials who grew up not knowing about the Soviet Union, not knowing how terrible it was, not knowing about the gulags, not knowing about the hundreds of millions of people dead, dead from communism. Well, see, that's why I would like for us to have a Soviet Union or a time machine that I can drop everyone in, bring them back, drop them into the Soviet Union, say, here, take a look around. Does this look good? Does, does Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders had his honeymoon here. Did you know that? Bernie Sanders went here on his honeymoon. He thought this was great. Then they'd all wake up. And you know, the other part of this whole thing is that Bernie Sanders himself talked about the fact that we have too many companies producing deodorant in this country. Now, I can say that, you know, the more companies producing deodorant, the better off we are in this country. But anyway, he doesn't like the idea that so many are producing deodorant. He thinks it's a waste. And he believes that we should just have maybe one or two countries producing deodorant here. Well, he, because he thinks it's a waste of resources and energy and everything else. Wait a minute, Bernie. For every one of those companies that produces their own brand of deodorant, there are jobs. There are sales. See, that's the kind of central planning that you had under the Soviet Union. And if we could show you the videos of the bread lines or bring you back in that time machine and show you what it was like in the Soviet Union, then you'd realize that Bernie is nothing more than a crazy old man. All right. Uh, we have a Twitter poll up for tomorrow, and it's a great one. We'll have the results right after the 7 o'clock news. But go to Twitter right now, at Jim Polito. The question is, will Elizabeth Warren's campaign make it until the New Hampshire primary in February of 2020? I mean, Joe Biden raised as much money in a day as she raised in the whole first quarter of this year. Will she make it until then? Yes or no? Twitter, at Jim Polito. The results right after the 7 o'clock news. And then tomorrow at 840, Tech Talk guru Craig Peterson. Here's a great, great thing we're going to discuss. A Tesla electric car pumps out more CO2. If you're driving around in it, you're producing more CO2. No, not out of a tailpipe. You're just producing more CO2 than a Mercedes diesel. All of that tomorrow. Until then, have a great day, everybody. And, and, and that's the point.